Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be telling you the best way to fish a buzz bait, and that is to slow roll it. I mean, over my years I have sort of had a love-hate relationship with the buzz bait. Uh, every once in a while I fish it, it catches me fish. Never a consistent amount of fish, but it will catch me fish from time to time. And then other times it doesn't catch me anything. And that all changed one day when I was out with a friend of mine. Uh, we just got through with a kid's fishing day at a lake. Uh, I only brought one pole with the Zara Spook on it. Uh, he brought his boat with his full arsenal. But we went out that day and he was throwing a buzz bait. I was throwing the Spook. And I watched him catch six or seven fish on the buzz bait. I, I caught one or two on the Spook. And I was sitting there going, it's, you know, I pick up one or two on the buzz. Why, why? Why is he, I mean, am I just missing days? Am I missing the bite? But then I realized he was fishing it a lot slower than I ever fished it. I mean, I used to fish it along and have these blades really spinning and create like a good wake and have a whizzing sound and, and you know, get a good bubbles going all the way back. And I realized he was fishing at half the speed I was. He was just very, very much slow rolling it, just barely having these blades turn on the surface. So I went out the next day on my own boat, and sure enough, I actually caught a limit plus on the buzz bait. Something it had never really done for me. I mean, I, like I said, I picked up one or two on it, but it was just the difference of the speed. I mean, just getting those blades going so you're hearing a little blurp, blurp, blurp was all the difference it took. And since then, I've been, I've been sort of modifying it. I mean, once I found out a way to catch them consistently, I wanted to find a way to catch them even more consistently. So now what I do is, as I'm reeling this in real slow and just barely keeping it on the surface, every once in a while I just give this little, just this little subtle twitch to the rod tip. I mean, it's not much, it's just a little here and there, every two, three feet, I just give it this little, this little twitch. Just enough to give a little extra splash. And what this does is, and I mentioned this before, uh, the bass sees the business end as a, as a predator chasing the blades, which represent a prey that it's chasing. So as this is going along, and you give those little jerks and this little bit of splash, it mimics even more a natural presentation of a predator chasing a little prey bait fish. Because we've all probably seen the little minnows in the water, and, and they'll be kind of swimming along at, at sort of a normal speed, and all of a sudden they freak out and just sort of one little jump and a little bit of splash and then they go back to just swimming sort of normal. Well that's what this does when you work it with those little, slight little twitches to just give it a little bit of a splash. To the bass it sees it as even more natural. Not only is this uh, a predator chasing the prey but it's mimicking even more what the prey would do every time this predator sort of lunged they would sort of jump out of the water. So it's just the best technique. Slow roll it and every once in a while just give it this slight little little jerk just to give it a little extra splash. And you might find yourself like me going from a bait that you threw once in a while and had a little bit of success on to a bait that you consistently throw and have a lot of success on. So I hope this helps. Till next time. Fish.